Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. This is another episode of the 8-Bit Debate. We brought it back last week because we had something we could actually, actually debate about. It was Kevin Vimmer versus Jan Vertonghen. Who should be back in the side when Jan comes back? Uh, who was victorious in that one? Was it you, Craig? Yes, it was. And, and who were you arguing for? Jan Vertonghen. Jan Vertonghen, interesting. Against Emma, I wasn't Against, in that. No, you weren't in that. But, uh, but the champ is here. All that matters is go back and watch that one. It was a really good debate. So we've got another one this week, another difficult one, but we found a topic. Thank you guys for sending in all your topics. Uh, really good oh, stuff. This is a user submitted one. That. This is a user submitted Boom. one. Boom! In classic fashion, I haven't written down the user who told us, so make sure you say in the comments section who you were, and I will mention it next week, I promise. Anyway, here is today's 8-bit debate. Don't forget to win this debate. They have to win points off me. The first one to eight will be victorious. Here is the question. Who should be Tottenham Hotspurs player of the season. They were actually, they weren't given, uh, they weren't given any single options. They could decide themselves. Reese James, who do you think should be Tottenham Hotspur player of the season? It's very difficult to say. Mm -hmm. And I think there's five players in the running, really. Mm -hmm. I've gone with Harry Kane. Not so predictable. With Harry Kane. Craig thinks he's been less predictable by going with... Toby Alderweireld. Okay, so that's Another the debate. The that is the debate. Craig was victorious last week, and despite the fact it wasn't against Reese, we're going to go to Craig first for why you think Toby Alderweireld should be our player of the season. Let me just start by saying, this is not a debate. No, 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 no. I mean, it is. this is a journey towards justice, and justice will be served. It okay? sounds like a trailer for Dawn of Justice: Batman vs Superman. No, listen. Is a this film. is a journey towards justice, and I. I urge you, Barnaby, to make the right decision okay. in refereeing this debate. Right, it's a point for Reese for sucking up. Early what? Sucking was it up. What? That one was it nil up. to Reese because he's going too far with the sucking up. Just oh my god! Talk about the actual. I'm warming them in, Barnaby. Talk about the actual subject. You always go gung ho. All right, Toby Alderweireld. You know it's called gung ho, not oh, gung ho. Whatever, okay. God. Nitpick. Two points to Reese now. <laughs> Based on, and he hasn't Don't, even brought up please, the subject yet. Yeah, should, should I just end it by keep making ridiculous statements? All right, listen. Toby Alderweireld, player of the season, simply because he is a part of the best defence in the league. We have conceded 25 goals. 25 goals, mm -hmm. Reese. Yeah. Largely because of this man. Well, 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 how many goals did we concede last season, Reese? More. I've got yeah, it right here on my card. 53. <laughs> That's 28 more goals. That's okay. This guy's transformed okay, yeah, no, it. Okay, you've won your point. You're absolutely right. You've won an extra point for statistical research. There, there we well go. Done. There we go. Two points all. Reese, who hasn't even said anything yet, is on two points. <laughs> Craig on two points. Reese, let's go for it. Harry Kane has broken a record. He is the top Spurs scorer in a Premier League season. He's got 22 goals. Mm -hmm. To put that in perspective, that's more than Sheringham, Klinsman, Bale. Uh, he has done. He's achieved that feat of 20 more or more goals in his Premier League season as many times as Aguero. Uh, more than Owen, who never did it. Yeah. Uh, Rooney only did it twice in six seasons. Yeah. Owen uh, won a Ballon d'Or. I don't think we should be going around those. Well, Kane's only 22, mate. There's just only four just players, saying. There's only four players in history who have done it, uh, who have done it more times than yeah. twice. A point for and Reece. none of them did it. Had done it once by the time they were 22. Three-two to Reese. That's good. Excellent. Uh, he nearly gets a point for statistical uh, analysis, but I, I expect that of Reese, whereas Craig's usually more lazy. <laughs> so three-two. Because he writes novels. Three, All right. Two to Reece. So about a third of those goals were probably penalties, but we're not, we're not going to get into all of that. Do you know who else scores goals? Alderweireld, and he's not even a striker. He has scored three goals this season. That's approximately an eighth of the amount of goals Harry Kane scored, and he doesn't <laughs> even play up front. There's a little stat for you, how about that? And the, three, and the three goals have been in big games. One against Manchester City, one against West Ham, and one against the Scum. I mean, Woolwich. That's true, so uh, uh, Craig, on behalf of Toby, gets a point for the fact that he scores goals and for bringing fractions into 8-bit yeah, Fractions are it, and listen. Into 8-bit debates for the first time. I think the it's all about fractions. Point. I think the fractions point's fair enough. Can I'm you thinking... sense that we're worried we haven't got enough ways to get to 8 points here? Nothing but points. Has any, <laughs> anyone, anyone worried? So I've not had a chance to speak. It is currently 4-3 to Craig Mitch Reese. Couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, yes, Alderweireld scores goals. But equally, Kane offers a lot defensively, and that is hard to deny. How often have we talked about Kane being back there, getting in amongst it? About four that, times. That tackle against Bournemouth for one, that was a lovely Exactly. Tackle. He's always oh. back there. He's, he's, he works harder than anyone. One point for Reese for that uh, four all. Also, sure, Toby scores in big games, but so does Harry Kane. 
Kane, mate. Think of his, think of his London Derby record, mm. Harry Kane. Mm. What a sensational record! He scored one of the greatest goals I've ever seen live yeah. against Arsenal, yeah. uh, and had the best crowd reaction I've ever seen at yeah. White Hart Lane. Yeah. I mean, Five. that is something. That's another point. Five four to Reese because uh, I was, I was actually thinking in my head as he was talking. If he doesn't mention the goal against Woolwich, then he's not getting a point for this. Mentioned but it, thankfully he did, he did and it. he said it was the best goal he's ever seen. Can't, can't argue uh, though, it was a fantastic flesh. goal. Yeah, it was. Um, do you know what a sign of a good player is, Barnaby I do, and Reese? Yeah. Not just a player that plays brilliant himself, but one that makes other players around him brilliant. Like Harry Kane. That's what Toby Alderweireld does. <laughs> See, Jan Vertonghen, Carl Walker and Danny Rose, they were alright players. You know, Jan Vertonghen was good, Carl Walker was okay, Danny Rose was alright, but Alderweireld's come in there and took all of them to the next level. Yeah. Not only that, he's taken a newcomer, a young defender, yeah. Kevin Vimmer, yeah. to a whole well, nother plateau. Does that do, does that do he's a given a service. Hey, listen. To say they haven't worked no, hard themselves. No, no, that's it's all about them. He, a good player, is someone that plays good. A brilliant player makes other players good as well, and that's what Toby yeah, Alderweireld does. Yeah, he gets does. a point for that. That's five all. He certainly has brought up our defence, as proven by the stats mentioned earlier. Uh, we're so much more sound this season than not only the last true. season, but in the history of being a Spurs fan that I know. Uh, never have we had a good defence, and that cannot be coincidence considering we bought Toby Alderweireld for the but I have a measly finish. sum that we did buy him. Anyway, you, you think you got more? Uh, I've got there? another point. I've got another point. He, he led last time I got a point now. Oh, yeah. Yes, all right. So, I what would what, what, what you mean? Oh, listen, I haven't finished. I've got another point. We've all got points, mate. All right, go on then, go. Do you want me to go? Yeah, go, since you're upset about it, go ahead. <laughs> go on, say it. Okay. Um, Harry Kane <laughs> is an absolute leader, okay? He is the first, if we equalise, to get the ball and put it back on the on the spot, yeah, on I like the halfway spot. I do like it when he right? does that. Against Arsenal, when he got Coquelin sent off, right, he stood up straight away, went to the crowd yeah. right by me, and was like, come on, get up for it, I'm yeah. changing this game. Then we scored, then he ran back the halfway yeah. line with the ball. He cares so much, and he's an absolute leader. And he wasn't even, when he did that, sitting on as squeaky a chair as you are I right know. now. Exactly. That? that is a point, he's right. Leadership, they've both got points so they far both... for their leadership. A uh, six five to um, to Reese. Thank you for that opportunity. Uh, yes, Ray. that's right. But uh, unfortunately, Reese just lost the point for being way too nice to his opponent. We don't like that. So six and all. Being sarcastic. It's six all. Uh, Craig, Mitch, it's your turn to go next. All right. So we talked about the fact that Alderweireld makes other players play better. Yes, you okay? can. Okay, and I he's a say it again. and he's a great defender. But do you know what he can do as well? He can pick out skulls esque balls. 30, 40 yarders yeah. and set up yeah. Deli Ali. Yeah. Look at that, he's made Deli Ali a better player as well and, and he doesn't even play directly Craig, alongside and him. Craig, for your point, which teams were those those goals against where he picked out Deli? Listen, it was against Everton, it was amazing. Yeah. Chested uh, it on yeah. the yeah. half okay. volley. And, and the other one? And the other one was against the Premier League team and that was amazing as well. Well, who was it? <laughs> it you was. Know, you need it for the point. Listen, I, You need it for the point. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> It was against West Brom. Oh, it, whatever, who six cares? All. It stays at six all. What? I'm sorry, but that's the way it works. You have to know what you're talking about. You I have don't to have a, I up. notoriously don't have a good memory. Notoriously, you didn't get that point. Uh, Reese, <laughs> six all. I agree, okay? <coughs> Toby has been an assist machine for this year, okay? Yes. That's fair enough. Yes. But I'll tell you what else. Harry Kane creates things from nothing. We saw it against Liverpool. Absolutely out of nowhere. That's actually Christian Eriksen that what? assisted him. But I, 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 I don't know, he didn't just grab the ball from the byline and then... Eriksen speculatively just kicked it in to keep it in play. Harry Kane... Speculatively, it was an amazing turn. bit of commitment to keep that yeah, ball in play. Yeah, he ran there and he just kicked and it And then flick it, the yeah. audacity of it. Great pass, but no one thought that was going to be a goal when it arrived at Kane. Mm. Not yet. That's a point he for me. He did that incredible turn. Against Lovren. He did that Lovren. incredible... Who'd have I don't want to downplay Kane, but it's Lovren. Lovren who had it. who'd contained We've got a cameraman behind the camera that will tell you Lovren is crap. Listen, listen, hold on, hold on. That's true, it's Glenn, by the way, for those who don't. Um, <laughs> Reese there does get a point for saying that Harry Kane does things out of nothing, and the Liverpool goal was a good example. He also loses a point to Craig on the basis of saying that basically Christian Eriksen had nothing to do with that. Like, it was. It That's was not what the point I was, was making. It was terrific, but it doesn't matter. Seven points or. Right. Oh, oh my what god. A oh my it's god. Seven it's come to, uh, I'm kicking it off. It's God's come sake. to. Uh, so I'm you both have now one chance Go to win. I'm the going winning for the jugular. Point. I'm kicking it off. Okay, Craig Mitz is going for the jugular. Then Reese James will give his point, and then I will decide who wins. We're talking about player of the season. Yes. But Toby Alderweireld is arguably the signing of the season. There are a lot of big Even signings today. made in the summer. You had the likes of Kante, you had the likes of uh, Payet, but Toby Alderweireld is without a doubt, I 
actually I'm gonna say it. He's the signing of the summer. 11.5 million from Atletico Madrid. This guy's over 50 caps for Belgium. He's won La Liga with Atletico Madrid. This guy's won three titles with Ajax. This is a seasoned veteran who has come in, transformed our team, and he only cost 11.5 million. Think about that for a sec. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Reese James, good luck. I don't think Harry Kane should be punished for the fact he already played for us at the start of the season, okay? I don't think that's relevant because he is one of our own, okay? He's been there for years. He's been around forever. He's got Spurs in He's his actually blood. Been around for two years. Toby was so, oh yeah, we signed him. Great, he was a great signing. I'm not denying that, right? Thanks, what did we, what did we pay for Harry Kane? Signing. Harry Kane was not only, not only is he more important to the club, he, he was cheaper and he's younger. You're clutching, mate, mate, you're clutching. He was, I mean, he's, 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 he's absolutely like one of right now. When Harry Kane doesn't play, you well really build a hut notice. With Harry Kane is irreplaceable at the top from our squad at the moment, right? Toby, admittedly, yes. If Toby's not playing, that's a big thing. We can play centre backs there, okay? Who are we playing up front? Who are we playing? Chadley, you want to see Chadley up front? Okay. Kane is player of the okay. season. Okay, it's over, it's over, guys. It's been a, a fascinating debate. I think the problem we've had in this debate is that we both love these players so much oh, that yeah. we never wanted to get negative about either of them. You did well not to do that, that's good. It's been difficult to find uh, so many points to win this, I think, because we both feel like it could be either of them. It could be Deli Alley, let's face it. So, you know, it's been an interesting debate. However, there can only be one win. I debated making it a draw because I think they both did really well. But there can this, only this be... This is an absolute pathetic decision. Th there can only be one winner. Uh, Reese already seeming like he feels like he's already lost. I'm um, seeing your card, mate. For me, for me, for me, the reason that Craig has won this yes, again! on behalf of Toby Alderweireld is just singularly because of this. Last season, Harry Kane scored the same amount of goals pretty much that he scored this season. And the Ooh, main difference, the, record, so the main difference, fifth. the main difference now and the reason we're second is because of our defensive attributes. Craig brought that up and I think that is the just deepest goals. and it's most important reason that we are in second place man, at the moment man. and Raise still it. in the title. Raise it, do it again. So this on should... that basis, Come on. Craig Mitch has won yes! Toby Alderweireld. Yes! Reese, don't take it personally, you fought a good fight. I've taken it <laughs> extremely personally. Okay, take it personally because I enjoyed that too, uh, watching you feel really annoyed. Uh, guys, let us know what you thought of the debate. Uh, don't forget, keep sending in your ideas for other debates, loving it. Uh, I will in future read out the name of the person who came up with that great idea, uh, well done. Uh, let us know in the comments box as well, you know, who you think the best debater is out of these guys. And also, I can promise you that from next season, when we do the 8-bit debates every week, we will get a proper league table going on it and as well. And a new chair, I did. And a new chair as well, guys. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, guys. Barnaby for Spurred on. And this is a brand new show. Ooh. It is Smithy. Say hello, Smithy. Hello, Smithy. Versus Slats.